welcome all. Chef Vian here from Al Islami, leader in halal foods for over five decades. In today's cooking video, we're going to show you how to prepare truly restaurant quality whole roast chicken using our Al Islami whole chicken. using our al Islami whole chicken. So, over here. What's nice about this chicken, what's special, is that it's hand slaughtered, it's not stunned, and there are no added hormones. So it's truly healthy, and we truly emphasize the quality of the chicken for you. As you can see, there's no bruising, and no breakage of the bones, skin is fully intact, it's a wonderful quality. This is to create a pocket where we can put a compound butter. So the compound butter will consist of garlic, parsley, thyme and chives mixed with the butter and some lemon zest. This will give you truly depth of flavor and will give that chicken that little bit extra that you want. All right, so that is the preparation of our chicken. Chicken can go to the side for one minute. The next step will be to create the compound butter. So in a bowl, take a lemon, prepare the lemon slightly, zest the lemon into a bowl, the zest of one whole lemon is more than enough to give you that little bit of a zing, a little bit of depth of quality. Now, we keep the lemon to the side, we do not throw the lemon away, that comes later. So, with the zest in the bowl, next, we will take our butter, and we will prepare our butter. You can use a whole block because it's not only for a single recipe, you can reuse this. You can put it in the freezer and you can use it as many times as you like. So, butter in there. Next, you will combine your herbs. Next, just a tablespoon of garlic. Of course, you can add the garlic to your taste. Everybody is different. Play with this recipe. You're able to make your own uh, favorite recipe from this kind of uh, process. Next, we'll thoroughly combine the butter. And don't worry if it's becoming a little bit liquid because the next step will be to roll this into cling foam into a tube. Like so. Once your butter is fully combined, bring it all together using a plastic or a shapeable spatula. Once you have it on the cling film here, it's very easy. Now it's be very careful not to double fold. By double folding, I mean you don't want it to wrap inside the butter. You want to just wrap the outside of the butter, such as that. Essentially creating almost just a sausage. Now this step, you only really have to create once. Because now, you will put this into the freezer and it will become solid. And you can literally cut in slices just the right portion that you need. Very easily, let's cut the portions that we need. Now, back to our whole chicken. As I said from before, we're going to place that butter directly under the skin. And when this chicken starts to cook, it's going to create that nice flavor pocket. As I said from before, we'll not waste that lemon. Cut that lemon in half and we place it inside the chicken. Now you want to close the chicken's legs because you want to create a nice tight bundle. As I said, this will cook at 180 degrees in an oven for 45 minutes. Oven's very so. Test your oven and see what's best for you. What is the perfect accompaniment to a roast chicken is some roast veggies. So I will prepare a saute of veggies, including onion, green peppers, broccoli, and some mushrooms. 
You can obviously roast whatever you feel like, but this is a nice method just to give it also a nice flavor and a nice depth. So what we'll do, we'll start with a little bit of olive oil. We'll sweat our onions. So I've increased my heat once again up to a full in order to get a nice saute there. And you already have your herbs and your garlic automatically inside. You don't want to cook the vegetables into a mush. So when you start seeing a little bit of translucency and a little bit of glaze on the ingredients, you know you're just about ready to go. Toss it around a little so it gets coated in all of those juices and all of that butter and oil. Once these are prepared, take your broccoli, only the sprouts because if you use the stem it will be a little bit too tough. Add that directly in. And make sure each and every one of your broccoli stems is coated in that glaze, that oil, the juices of the other vegetables. So, the perfect accompaniment to that whole roast chicken.